hands, of course, doing a little manual bilge pump. As you can see from the mats, it's finally to a point where there's not nearly as much oil being absorbed onto those oil pads. So the water is actually a lot more clear than it was before. It's always a good sign. We've basically been letting the dehumidifier on the AC unit drain directly into it so that we can keep water flowing through it as we've been getting it filtered more and more each time. And using those oil pads is getting all of the oil absorbed so that we can just throw that out and dispose of it properly.
system which was this this was the water pump uh, that was driven off of the engine and it never worked it may have been once in this life but it never did uh, these were the filtration part to help filter the seawater and make it into drinking water and then this here was the freshwater electric pump which was sitting in the bilge with all the lines uh, various systems that he had running for the fresh water which was a terrible idea so never mount this anywhere close to the build or engine room keep it up close to your water tank makes things a lot simpler on your life and this here was just an assist water pump for the uh, uh, water maker that he had plumbed in line to give it extra guess extra water flow to make more water which really doesn't help if the system only does so much of the, an hour. And then we removed a whole bunch of wiring and went all over the place that was for all the redundant systems that were in here. And as you can see there is a lot more space in here. Uh, we pulled the old water heater, got it out because it was no good. And now I can actually sit in there. Pretty much on both sides. And I got a little bit of wiring back in here to get removed. That are part of the old solar system. Now I'm gonna pull it out. And when it comes time to reinstalling a solar system, I'll put it somewhere where it's accessible and dry. Thank <laughs> you.